What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to create angled page sections for your Unbounce landing page. So something that will look like this. If you look at the bottom of every section, it's a bit diagonal, right? So it's a bit skewed to, in this case, the left side, uh, but you can also skew it to the right side. Now, not only does this look better, it looks more unique if that's what you're trying to accomplish, but it also gives users an impression that there is something more to see on your page if they scroll down, which is not the same if you just have horizontal sections. So in this case, everything is skewed to the left, but uh, I have created an example over here where you see a little bit to the left and then to the right. And then this side is actually more steep than this. So just to give you an example that anything is possible here, I'll show you how to do it and you can customize it. So the page we will be using is actually this one, the keto diet page. Uh, that is our hands-on unbounce page where we actually go step by step and create everything. So let's get started. Uh, we will also be using these instructions. Well, I'm going to link these instructions in the description, uh, but obviously I know what to do, so we're not gonna read through them all. So first thing I'm going to do is add sections. Let's just add three for simplicity and we'll just add any colors. Um, just so you get an idea how to do this. So this page section, uh, let's make this say red. Let's make this one just so we can differentiate it a bit. Actually, we can make this one white and then let's make this one green, right? So it doesn't matter, like I said, just for demonstration purposes, but red's a bit too much actually. Let's make it something like this, great. Okay, so some light colors. Um, so now what we're going to do is just grab this code, okay? I will put the link to this installation guide and this code guide in the description, so don't worry about that. All you have to do is just grab this, copy it, go into your style sheet and add a new style sheet. So let's name this um, angled page sections. and we'll paste it all here and we'll save. So now that's really pretty much it. Now we just have to go in and edit, okay? Um, based on your IDs of the section. So if you click on a section, you scroll to the bottom, you will see that the ID is this one right here. LP Palm Block 169. This one's 170, this one's 171. So in chronological order, very easy. So what you're going to do is let's say we want this one to go you know, to the left, skew to the left, as in these examples here. So all we're gonna do is take this, copy that, go into the style sheet, and let's change this here. And that is pretty much it. So after means at the bottom of a section, before means at the top of a section, okay? So over here, if I want this to skew to the left, negative 3.75 degrees, um, I'm gonna just put in the ID and leave everything else as is, okay? Just change this part and this part. So now let's say we want an angled top. Um, so let's say for this one, we want the top part to be skewed left, right? So now I'm gonna copy this, go into style sheet, and over here, as you can see, it says before, right? So that means we're doing the top. I'm gonna go here, paste that, and have it the same, negative 3.75 degrees. So let's click save. So this is just the very basic, there's no customization, but let's just go step by step and see what this looks like. And then I'll show you how you can further customize it as you want. Okay, so in this case, 3.75 is a bit much because our sections are very small. So if this happens to you, that means you have to increase the size of the sections a little bit. So let's increase it maybe to something like this so that there are no problems. And let's try it. So it's good that we're doing this, you know, live as we go, because if you see any issues, you will know what to do if you face them on your end. So if you preview this now, you should see that the 3.75 is sufficient, okay? So I don't actually know if this is some flag. It looks like it's some flag, orange, white, green. Is that Italian or something? Italian has green, I think, right? Um, but that's basically it. So if you want to change the angle even more, you just make it negative 3.75 to say five, right? Something like that. Now, let me give you a shortcut. Suppose you don't want this, right? Let me 
add these little bars to block it so that this code doesn't go into effect. And what you can do as a shortcut, if you have many different um, sections that you want to have the same pattern for, you can just add them in the same in the same code piece of code here. So let's suppose instead of changing the bottom for this one, we want to change, you know, um, sorry, instead of ch changing the top of this green section, we want to change the bottom of this section, which means after, right? So we take this ID, right, after, we go back into style sheet, and now we can simply add a comma, do the little number sign, and then say the same thing, after, okay? And then click done, save, and you should see the exact same effect now, even though we turned off this one. We can even delete it. I just don't want to kind of recopy everything. So uh, this isn't active right now, okay? But you will see that the result is exactly the same. And as you have more and more sections, you don't have to keep adding blocks of these codes. You can just add them all into the same kind of snippet. So as you can see, the result is the same because now we changed the after, which is the bottom of this first section and the after of the second section. Okay, so that's that. Now, suppose you want to um, change the direction, right? So let's see what happens if we change this to from 3.75 to uh, from negative 3.75 to 3.75. Okay, and let me show you what's going to happen. Because again, this might happen with you and you'll be thinking, well, hey, you know, this doesn't work. What do I do? So if we change it from negative 3.75 to positive 3.75, nothing changes. It's just horizontal. What do you do? Why isn't it working? And the reason for that is if that's what you do, you have to change the transform origin from 100 to 0. So in this case, it's 100. All we're going to do is put it to 0. So if you see it not working like that, if you put in degrees and it's flat, go in and change the origin from either 0 to 100 or 100 to 0, depending on where you are. So now we're going to click Save. And now we can preview, and you should see it now go on the right side. OK? And that's basically it. You just do the exact same thing now for everything else. So um, let's suppose you add a new section, right? Let's say you add a new section in the middle. First thing you want to do is make sure the IDs are the same. So this is still 171. This is still 170. This is still 169. OK? So just don't get confused, because now you have a new one in the middle that's chronologically incorrect. So let's change this color again just to make it um, obvious what it is. Let's say purple. And now we, we can take this block, OK? And depending on what you want to do with it, so suppose you want to change the before of this, what you can do is add page layout. You can copy this part here, right? Because it says before, and uh, it's just easier to copy an existing piece of code than have to redo it with all these things. Um, let's remove these parts so it's active. And now what you have to do is just take the ID. So let's say this ID was 173, 173. And let's suppose in this case you want to skew it the other way, right? So it's going to be negative 3.75. Uh, but in this case, it should be 100 because it is the before. It's the top part now. It's no longer the bottom part. Um, might get complicated explaining what and why exactly it is. But just so you know, um, if it's not working for you, change the transform origin. That's the basic idea. So let's see. So here it looks like, OK, so we've created an after and a before. So that's why it conflicts, right? So we have to remove one of them. So in this case, if something like that happens to you, um, this one was the 170. And we added that after here. So what we're going to do is just delete that. OK, that way there's no issues. And now we have the before here. So let's click Save and see what happens. So at least you know how to troubleshoot if something like this comes up. OK. So now you have this coming in. You have a little angle here because, again, we have the before and after. Um, so let's see what's going on here. But that's basically how you add these um, angled page sections. So if you really want to troubleshoot, right? you have the before, the after. Um, so in this case, we changed the after of this one. And we changed the before for this one. 
So if that still doesn't work, just change around the origins. Okay, so that one works. Um, so as you can see, if something doesn't make sense and you're sure like you went in and you checked, you have to change the transform origin. In this case, again, the issue is we don't have enough space, okay? So you would have to add a bit more uh, to the purple side. So if we increase that, and all that makes sense. So see here how it's positive and zero, here it's negative and zero, but the difference is this one is before and this one's after. So that's why it's, it's, it's like that. So we'll click save and preview. And there you go. Now that you've added a bit more space, you know, it goes in both directions. But that's basically it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this. This might get a bit tricky, um, but that is how you do it. You just keep adding new sections and keep adding the code for uh, before or after whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this one, Definitely check out my full Unbounce playlist where I go from start to finish and creating a landing page and creating things like we did over here. Um, and check out my Google Ads playlist so you know how to send traffic. And by the way, if you use my Unbounce affiliate link to sign up down below, you get a 14 day free trial followed by 20% off for your next three months. So it's an excellent deal for you to get started and get a big, big discount on the side. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.